Hey YouTube, Jeff checking in. Hope you're doing well this fine morning. Uh, today I want to do a quick uh, tutorial video. It's a DaVinci Resolve 16 video. And the reason why I'm doing this one right now is that I've been working on a few time-lapse projects where I've decided to use a cinematic crop, sort of a 2.35 to 1 or a 2.40 to 1 crop. And um, in my research on DaVinci Resolve, I found two ways to uh, you know, apply a cinematic crop to a project. Um, both very easy, but uh, I really prefer one method. So what I want to do today is show you how I do both those crop methods on DaVinci Resolve, and then I'll give you uh, um, some thoughts on why I think one is better the other than the other. So uh, let's head into DaVinci Resolve right now, and um, and let's get get going on this tutorial. Okay, uh, I've just opened a new project in uh, DaVinci Resolve. So uh, what I'll do is I'll add some media uh, to the clip for us to work with. I think anything will do here. The first thing I'm going to do is add the clip to the timeline. So what we're going to do is a method of cropping called output blanking. Essentially, what that entails is selecting the clip on your timeline, going to the, the timeline tab, finding output blanking down here near the bottom, and then these are the ratios that you can select. So if you want 2.35 to 1 or 2.40, um, then you can collect, select that um, crop factor. So now uh, you can see the top and the bottom have black bars. That is uh, the, the bars applied, so you have the cinematic crop. And what you can do to uh, readjust your clip is go into the color tab, and under this, um, this the tab here, you can adjust the position of your, your clip so that um, you get the composition that you want. So you use the tilt to slide up and down. And so that's maybe a little bit better of a composition. Um, then I could go back into my edit tab and confirm that that's what I want. And then when you actually go to export, you go to the deliver tab and you just export it in the format that you want and the resolution you want. It's, it's nothing really changes here because the image is still in the 1920 by 1080, in this case, uh, format. It's just uh, the bars have been attached to the bottom and the top. Uh, let's just reset this, um, this clip. Okay, so the bars are gone, but I shifted my uh, my image in color so I'm just gonna reset that so we're starting at the beginning here go back into the edit tab and um, to uh, change your project so that you don't have the black bars in your final um, composition you go back to the file tab into your project settings and then you adjust your timeline resolution here and so for a uh, HD clip, the timeline resolution would be changed to 1920 by 800. We'll just save that. That changes the aspect ratio. So you see now we have a, a uh, cinematic crop here, uh, 2.40, I believe. And so what you have to do to get rid of the black bars on the side is you have to go back into your your timeline settings, your project settings, and in the image scaling, you scale full frame with crop, and that will, you know, fill the entire screen there. And then, yeah, as as we did before, you can you can adjust the um, position of the image within that new new crop like that 
there we have our new crop and then when we uh, we export the settings are already there the resolution is already there so you can just uh, export it uh, according to whatever um, standard you want to export to whether you're exporting for YouTube or Vimeo or, f or for whatever and then you know your final project will look like this so notice there are no black bars one other thing I wanted to show you guys I thought this would be pretty helpful is there's this uh, Australian website I think because it's an AU uh, address called unravel um, they have this uh, aspect ratio cheat sheet and this is a really uh, good cheat sheet to determine what kind of resolution um, to change your project settings to uh, when you do want to get a cinematic ratio. You can either do the math, um, but uh, I prefer not to do that. So I just have this handy website bookmarked. You can also uh, get a PDF version and print it out if you want. But basically, if you're, if you're in a 1080p, like a HD uh, project, and you want um, 2.40, then you know this is the resolution here right here 1920 by 800 you know if you wanted 2.35 um, this would be helpful then if you and so if you have a 4k project and you want 2.40 then yeah you'd have 380 3840 by 1600 uh, that would be the uh, ratio that you would input into the davinci resolve uh, project settings resolution tab and that way you don't have to do any extra thinking, which is always kind of nice. So I'll put a, uh, a link to this screen in the description below so that you can bookmark this and use it yourself. All right, uh, back to DaVinci Resolve. So why would we pick between uh, one uh, style of cropping or the other? In a way, it's, it's up to preference. It's up to the type of project that you're trying to do. Uh, and so... You can choose it on an aesthetic basis, um, but one of the things that um, I like to do and one of the reasons why I prefer this crop is that when I am working with uh, title screens, for example, you know, I'm going to add in a title screen here. Got, I've got a new time-lapse movie. That's what this is about. When I play this, the title screen is also going to be cropped down to the same aspect ratio as my uh, time-lapse clip. However, because I'm using a black title screen, I mean, it's, it'll be different depending on what you do, but if you're just using output blanking, then this uh, title screen will actually look larger than the than the actual clip, and it's kind of weird. I'll just I'll, I'll show you how that looks, uh, just to get a sense, and that's that's why I prefer this method over the other. Okay, so uh, I've reset the clip, and I'm going to apply um, output blanking. Uh, we'll just go with two point four zero for now, just for the purposes of this, and we'll just uh, fix this so it looks a little bit better. And then I want to add in a title here. So I'm just going to cut the clip like that and just make some room for a title. Put the back in. Let's just add a quick title. Okay, now, so this is roughly, you see the black bars on the top still, and then the time-lapse movies um, title screen 
is the same size and it just I just find it looks it looks really weird so when I when you're using a uh, an output blanking uh, method to do your cinematic crop you know and you want to keep the black bars then I would recommend not putting in a black type or any color like any title screen like this where you separate out the clips I'd probably be more inclined to superimpose it uh, over top of the um, the image that way um, it looks a lot better so but if you do want to have the separate um, title screen or you know a, an introduction screen then it's better to use the um, cinematic crop method where you actually change the timeline resolution as opposed to just applying output blanking Okay, so that's it for uh, this tutorial. I hope you've got something out of this and you can apply this uh, to your own editing, whether it's a time-lapse project or, or another video project. Uh, thanks for uh, watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.